Good evening. We are doing this run, this bold assault on this goal using Valentina Kerman because, of course, she is my favorite, basically. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's do this. We're going to target the moon, uh, set as target. <laughs> I'm hoping that I can time accelerate this thing. Now, now look at that. Now the physics is kicking in. Let's see if we can make this happen. Okay. <laughs> can I send banana? Oh, look, we may have crashed it already. Look at that spinning thing. <laughs> this launch is fine when it's just... Oh, look, it came, it came back. It's alive. It's alive, I tell you. Oh, yes. Oh, look at this. Cannot quick save while moving over the surface. <laughs> Uh-oh! I knew this was gonna happen! I kinda knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> look at my power! <laughs> So clearly we cannot time warp when we have all these things. The, the relaxing physics does not relax particularly well. Yes, we are SpaceXing this like a pro. Uh, I'm just gonna... <laughs> Valentina looks a little, um, concerned. be unfortunate if she were to perish. <laughs> I think there must be some launch clamps in this in there holding the thing up. Yeah, she's just hanging there at an angle now. Oh, I was about to say, I think it's done. I think it's done. I'm gonna call that done. Okay, we're ready. And go! <laughs> this is taking too long and I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to match the frame rate of the rocket. <laughs> you guys thought the video had frozen. <laughs> you guys are like, F5. Somebody wants to see me do my turntable thing. So basically for copyright reasons, I stay well away from it. But since we're talking about turntables, I have the Voyager Golden Record. Ooh, look at that, you can actually watch the rocket. There, how's that? <laughs> it's very hard to tell, but this is the repressing by Osma Records. It was a Kickstarter. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, it gives me a digital code to download the music. It gives me a Voyager slip mat. That is so awesome, right? Because I, I would actually do something with that. Uh, we have, like, Three slices of vinyl here. Look. And uh, the vinyl is transparent gold vinyl. Right? Uh, that, that, that's so awesome. I am so going to learn to scratch just so I can say that I scratched with the Voyager Golden Record. Comes with like sleeves that are appropriately designed as well. It is so, so nice. And I'm so going to have to do something with that. Uh, but yeah, right now we're still burning through this first stage here. It could take uh, a decent amount of time. Time is almost here. Staging! Did it stage? Yes! Whew!
right there, right there, right there, right there. Stop, 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 st oh crap. Stop! Okay, um... I'm gonna take that. That's 7.3 kilometers per second. I don't know what time it is until I hit. So now, now we're spinning. Uh, we're gonna open this up. I'm just gonna... Uh, okay, I gotta find the, the thing in here. EV, uh, open, so she can EVA. I'm gonna F5 it, that's very important. We've got to an F5 moment. So I'm gonna climb down and board the seat. That's great. So now the next thing to do is... Oh, come on, damn it! Stack decoupler, decouple. Yes, okay. And now we're almost ready to time accelerate here. Oh, excellent, excellent. Okay, so now uh, F5, we're going in roughly the right direction. Whew. Okay, you know what? You're right. I'm going to do an Alt F5 here to uh, OMG WTF LOL BBQ. Yeah. No, wait. BBQ, not BBW. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. No, I did not mean to do that. Um, There we go. Auto strut. Heaviest part. Heaviest part. The heaviest part. Okay. So we'll do we'll give it an extra thirty kilometers. W and Q are next to each other. It wasn't any Freudian slip, it was a fat finger. <laughs> Might you get better performance hot staging? So the reason I don't hot stage these ones here is because when they fire they were slamming these stages into the core stage and breaking things. So uh, I deliberately turned that off. Okay, here we go. So we'll do it. Uh, one one two oh one one two five one one two five. That's what I'm gonna go for. There we go. And soon to burn out. There we go. I guess this indicates I'm behind the curve, but soon the mainsails will kick in and things will go faster and, you know, maybe I'll be ahead of the curve. Yeah, so again, I had to make sure these didn't light at the same time because when they do, they cause damage to the engines above them. And the same with these ones. When you f drop them, you have to give them a second to escape, otherwise they can break the core engine. Oh, those poor fuel tanks, they're going to smash into the moon in about four kilometers per second. There we go. Woo! Excellent. We're down to less than a hundred parts, can you believe? Down below two kilometers per second. And my suicide burn distance is still positive. Uh-oh, we ditched that. Now, suicide burn distance is negative, but that's fine. And... Stage. Okay. Well, our number is negative and number is positive. Okay, so, but we have 900. Oh, wait a second. No, we need, still need more. So, this stage is going to burn out just before we land. And that means less acceleration overall. So, I think I need to still be very aggressively decelerating here. So we're not going to be able to land because we're not going to have enough rocket to properly stabilize. But the good news is, everything else should work, mostly. Look at us go! <laughs> Okay, suicide burn is one kilometer! No! No! No, I was so close! So close! <laughs> yes! No! <laughs> uh... No! <laughs> Stop! 
Yes! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> that was just. <laughs> now, of course, I have to land her. After all that, I have to land her. we go badass extraordinaire oh we should totally plant a flag <laughs> and whoa bingo and we are goal once again Excellent. Now I'm going to enable auto strut. We can't be going too fast, but we need to just touch the surface. And like the staging operation. So if the staging operation takes like a fraction of a second longer, that's another five kilometers, right? Yeah, so in zero G, they don't tend to have uh, bread. They have uh, tortillas. Uh, because tortillas are flexible and soft and don't create crumbs. So yeah, there's, um, you know, videos of people making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches using tortillas. But of course, that is disgusting because peanut butter and jelly is not something I would like as a British person. I don't know why America has such a love of it, but whatever. You know, you guys are cool. I dig it. I mean, I am one of you now, sorta. Da -da. Ditch and ditch. No, it's, it's okay. I totally understand. I, I just hate peanut butter in general. It's just a weird... It just doesn't work for me. I hate it when I get, like, a chocolate and somebody's like, Oh, yeah, have one of these. They're awesome. And it's, like, chocolate and then there's peanut butter in it. It's like, oh, you... You have poisoned me. <laughs> it is the texture of peanut butter. I really just... It sticks to my tongue and makes me feel like this. Uh, oh, I love this. I how uh, 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 uh. Yeah, that's what happens when I eat peanut butter. Here we go. Excellent. How am I heading towards the moon so fast? Because I built a really big rocket. You clearly missed the start of the stream. I had like a 2300 part rocket and that... I could go bigger. I think. I mean, I don't see any reason why I couldn't go bigger. Oh, I, you know what? I love uh, peanut sauce and Thai food. That's awesome. I think that's that's one of my favorite things. But it just peanut butter does, does not agree with me. Uh, no idea why. I'm just strange like that. I uh, And my kids, it's not genetic. My kids are quite happy to have peanut butter. Okay, so suicide burn is 8 kilometers, so I'm actually fine. So I'm going to just ditch this. Uh, it tells me suicide burn time. Alt, to I burn distance, is 300 kilometers, 3, 2, 1, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0! Oh, crap, 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 crap. Oh, bollocks. Oh, crap. Yeah, okay, so I could have escaped there. Oh, man. Well, how much Delta V do I have? I have 7 kilometers per second of Delta V. Let's go for the, the cheat mode return, right? Let's go for ignore max temperature return, right? So I'm going to cheat here because I have limited fuel, basically. 
That was technically a touch and go. I just lost a bunch of fuel. So at the very least, we're going to get a fast return trajectory out of this, even although it isn't a legal uh, return. So we're 34 minutes into the mission. And unfortunately, uh, you know, we don't have much thrust in these stages, but we should be able to get down there. And bingo! Excellent! Again, we're, we're accelerating at about 1G. It's less of an issue because... Uh, so, I was kind of concerned about the, the G-forces being low, but then I realized that a lot of the problems is losses due to gravity effects. And since we're leaving the moon, it's less of an issue to have lower acceleration on the way back because you're not having to worry about gravity losses anymore. Because the moon is basically... At this point, the moon is almost nothing. No, uh, once I leave that, I will have all the information I need for a bold return to the surface at speeds unheard of. And for the last stage... Oh, crap! No! Oh, good. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> that turned me around a little more than I expected. I uh, need to adjust the seat. Man, it's so unfair. Like, when I was testing this, I get better times. Now let's just see if we can survive re-entry. If we can, like, slow down before we hit the surface. This will be really interesting to see if this happens. It might not actually be possible, but I'm I have belief that it will be. There we go. You see, it slowed down just fine. I might need to readjust this because I had previously run a test and found that these things were uh, causing a rotation and I I thought it was because the seat was too far in that direction, so I moved it into the middle, and then it it feels more like it needs more of an issue, a thing. One hour six minutes. That is so far off. That man. Still, she gets to gets to get out and walk around. Well, <laughs> hey, she like cartwheeled out of there like a pro. Flat earthers, bunch of rubbish. You guys are morons. Ah, yes, and she has successfully completed her mission to fly to the moon and back in a short amount of time and then transform into a cactus. Is that not the greatest ending to a mission ever? I think the real appropriate way to end this is to say, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe. Fly safe.